Bemid bar Numbers 19. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Ahran, saying, This is the ordinance of the Torah, which Yahuwah has commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharael, that they bring you a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. And ye shall give her unto El Arzar, the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp. And one shall slay her before his face. And El Azar, the priest, shall take of her blood with his finger and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the assembly seven times. And one shall burn at the heifer in his sight, at her skin and at her flesh and at her blood, with her dung shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood and hyssop and scarlet and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water. And afterward he shall come into the camp and the priest shall be unclean until the evening. And he that burns her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water and shall be unclean until the evening. And a man that is clean shall gather up at the ashes of the heifer and lay them up without the camp in a clean place and it shall be kept for the assembly of the children of Yasharael for a water of separation. It is a purification for sin. And he that gathers at the ashes of the heifer shall wash at his clothes and be unclean until the evening. And it shall be unto the children of Yasharael and unto the stranger that sojourns among them for a statute forever. He that touches the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify himself with it on the third day. And on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he purify not himself the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. Whosoever touches the dead body of any man that is dead and purifies not himself, defiles at the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and that soul shall be cut off from Yasharael, because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean. His uncleanness is yet upon him. This is the Torah. When a man dies in a tent, all that come into the tent and all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. And every open vessel which has no covering bound upon it is unclean. And whosoever touches one that is slain with a sword in the open fields or a dead body, or a bone of a man, or a grave, shall be unclean seven days. And for an unclean person they shall take of the ashes of the burnt heifer of purification for sin, and running water shall be put thereto in a vessel. And a clean person shall take hyssop and dip it in the water, and sprinkle it upon the tent, and upon all the vessels, and upon the persons that were there, and upon him that touched a bone, or one slain, or one dead, or a grave. And the clean person shall sprinkle upon the unclean on the third day, and on the seventh day, and on the seventh day he shall purify himself and wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and shall be clean at evening. But the man that shall be unclean, and shall not purify himself, that soul shall be cut off from among the assembly, because he has defiled at the sanctuary of Yahuwah. The water of separation has not been sprinkled upon him. He is unclean. 
And it shall be a perpetual statute unto them that he that sprinkles the water of separation shall wash his clothes, and he that touches the water of separation shall be unclean until the evening. And whatsoever the unclean person touches shall be unclean, and the soul that touches it shall be unclean until evening.